Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is multiplying uh, polynomial expressions. So we did a little bit of this in the last lesson, the, the second part of it, where we did a bi times a tri, a binomial times a trinomial. Uh, we're going to do some more of that in this lesson here. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found right there. Let's go to that site real quick. So here's MrMathBlog.com. This is an integrated math 2 link, so you'd click that, and then it's going to be loaded uh, right down here below part 1 right there, okay? All right, so let's get started. It should go pretty fast, I think, you guys, So, since we did it uh, in the last one. So here we have this binomial right here times this trinomial right here. So what we're going to do is distribute this whole trinomial through uh, this binomial right here, okay? So there's other ways to do this, you guys, but we're this uh, textbook's choosing to do this, so that's fine. It's easy enough. So, so this whole trinomial gets times x and then times the plus 5. So there's the x and then the plus 5. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is distribute that x through, and then over here we'll distribute the 5 through. Do you, do you remember that in the last uh, lesson? Okay, so here we go. Um, uh, x times 2x squared is going to be 2x cubed right there. And then x times a negative 2x is going to be negative 2x squared right there. Okay, this is going to be a, a minus 7x. And then the next term is going to be a plus 10x squared, minus 10x, and then finally minus 35. And then we'll combine those like terms. So we'll combine the x squared. So negative 2 plus 10 is going to be plus 8. And then negative 7 minus 10 is going to be negative 17. So uh, the exponents don't change. It just stays as x squared with the 8, and it stays as uh, x with the uh, negative 17. Anyways, okay, let's try another one here. So here we go. So same thing. We'll do the trinomial times the binomial. So we're going to distribute this trinomial here times the 5x and then times the minus 2. So times the 5x and then the minus 2. Okay, here we're going to distribute the 5x through. Here we'll distribute the negative 2 through. So um, I think I did that in different colors, yeah? So here's the 5x. So 5x times negative 3x, and then 5x times 5x, and then 5x times this negative 6, and then negative 2 times the negative 3x, and then negative 2 times 5x, and negative 2 times negative 6. Remember, a negative times a negative is going to change this to a plus 12 right there. Okay, so here, this is going to be a negative 15x to the, there's one here, there's two more, so x to the third right there. The next term is going to be plus 25x squared, and then minus 30x, and then watch out, a negative times a negative. If this one's going to be a plus 6x squared, and then minus 10x, and then plus 12 right there. And then we'll combine those like terms right there. So 25 plus 6 is going to be 31x squared, and then negative 30x minus 10x is going to be a negative 40x right there. Okay? All right, so here we have a trinomial times a trinomial. So I had to um, uh, reduce the font size so I can fit this in here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the whole trinomial times this, times this, times this. So there it is right there, times the x squared, times the x, and then times the minus 4. Okay, so we'll distribute the x squared through this one, we'll distribute the x through this one, and we'll put the 4 through this one here. So I've done that right there. Okay, and then, uh, okay, so x squared times x cubed, this is going to be x to the fifth. Okay, this one here is going to be a negative 2x to the fourth. Okay, I don't know if I did all of this in one step. Oh, I didn't. Good. All right, so there's x to the fifth because I add those, and there's going to be my minus 2x to the fourth. This is going to be plus 3x squared, okay, and the next one's going to be plus x to the fourth, and then minus 2x to the third, and then plus 3x, minus 4x to the third, plus 8x squared, and then minus 12, okay, and then we'll combine all the like terms, okay, so negative 2x to the fourth plus 1x to the fourth is going to be a minus 1x to the fourth, and then... Uh, let's see, plus, uh, oops, we'll do the cubes next. So the negative 2 minus 4 is going to give us negative 6x cubed. And uh, what do we have? The x squared, so these purple guys. Now, if you're colorblind, you guys, my son is colorblind. He has a hard time seeing, especially this one. He might not be able to even see that because he's colorblind. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you that uh, with different colors at the end here. So I'm just combining like terms right here. So so uh, there it is in, in the colors, and there it is without the colors right there. So you folks that uh, have a hard time seeing those colors. All right, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.